Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green triangle uh, EBM fully confined uh, in a square ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side uh, length uh, of this uh, square is uh, 8 uh, units. And moreover, this segment uh, DM uh, is equal to this segment uh, MC. In other words, uh, M is the midpoint. And furthermore, uh, this uh, green triangle uh, is an isosceles uh, triangle since these uh, two side lengths are equal and it is a right angle uh, triangle as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And now let me share with you the very first uh, method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BCM. Since we are dealing with this uh, square and this side length uh, is 8. So therefore, this side length uh, is going to be 8. And this side length uh, is going to be 8 uh, as well. And furthermore, since uh, M is the midpoint, uh, so therefore uh, this segment uh, DM is going to be 4 and this uh, segment uh, MC is uh, 4 units as well. So therefore we can see in this uh, triangle BCM, uh, its side lengths are uh, 8 uh, and uh, 4. And now we are going to calculate this uh, hypotenuse uh, BM. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call the longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 4. So this is going to become 4 square plus b in our case is 8 square equal to c square so let's go ahead and simplify so 4 square is 16 plus uh, 8 square is uh, 64 equal to c square so c square value turns out to be 80. let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see square and square root is gone so therefore c value turns out to be equal to and we know that the square root of 80 equals to 4 times uh, square root of 5. So therefore, C value turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 5 units. So therefore, our hypotenuse BM turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle uh, BEM. And we know that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, EM equal to this side length uh, EB. Let me label uh, this side length uh, as a lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well. Whereas uh, its uh, hypotenuse is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the value of uh, a. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our longest leg uh, is uh, 4 times square root of 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula, a square and b is same as a. So this is going to become a square equal to c in our case is uh, 4 times square root of 5 whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify. Let's uh, combine these like terms. So this become a 2a square. And the square on the right hand side is going to give us uh, 80. Let's divide both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our a square value turns out to be 40. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle BEM. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is uh, lowercase a and our height is uh, lowercase a as well. So therefore, the area of this uh, green uh, triangle is going to become uh, a half uh, times uh, our base is uh, a times our height is uh, a as well. So we can write the right hand side as uh, a square divided by 2. 
And now we know that a square equals to 40 that we figured out in our previous step. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, a square by 40. So therefore, we can write this thing as 40 divided by 2. So therefore, area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 20 square units. And now let me share with you the second uh, method. And now let's focus on this uh, square whose uh, diagonal uh, is represented by lowercase uh, d. Then the area of this uh, square is going to be simply d square divided by 2 where once again d is the diagonal. And now let's focus once again on this uh, green uh, triangle BEM. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green uh, triangle uh, represents the half uh, of the square. And uh, this side uh, BM uh, being the diagonal uh, of this uh, triangle. So I'm going to call this uh, diagonal lowercase d. So therefore, the area of this uh, green uh, triangle, uh, let me go ahead and write down uh, green uh, triangle area is going to be a half uh, of the area of the square. I'm going to write uh, half of square area. And we know that the area of the square formula is uh, d squared divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by d square divided by 2 over here. So therefore this green triangle area is going to be a half uh, times uh, d square divided by 2. So this could be written as uh, d square divided by 2 times 2 at the denominator is going to give us 4 at the denominator. And now we know that our diagonal uh, d is 4 times square root of 5. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, lowercase d by 4 times the square root of 5. So therefore I can write uh, 4 times the square root of uh, 5 whole square divided by 4. And we know 4 times square root of 5 whole square is uh, 80 divided by 4. And now we know that 80 divided by 4 is uh, 20. So therefore our green uh, triangle uh, area turns out to be 20 square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 20 square uh, units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.